Kenneth Russell here. Today I'm going to talk about strap locks. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a strap lock is, basically it's a it's a lock for your strap that goes in your guitar button that it will not come off. That your strap is on there for good. So if you ever see a guitar player do like the spin thing where it wraps around their their body or whatever, I've never done that, but they've got strap locks on. Otherwise, it's going to fall off. If you hold your guitar behind you, you know, uh, as you're without any hands, you need to have a strap lock. Um, it's just a really good idea because you will eventually, if you've been playing for any, any length of time, you probably will end up dropping your guitar. What ends up happening is on a normal guitar strap, you know, just, that just goes on, you know, it's on there pretty good, but if for some reason it's looped on the wrong way, it's really easy for that to just pull off just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a couple of the different strap locks I've used over the years. And uh, to give you an idea of what you might want to look for, I don't have every kind of strap lock there is, but uh, a couple of the ones that, that, uh, that I've used and some that I like and some that I don't like. Okay, so all the way over here, basically this is your typical uh, strap button that you're going to have on a guitar. You know, it just basically just kind of screws in like that and your, uh, your strap goes on there. This is one that you may find, some of them already kind of come prepared for a strap lock, but it's just a button except it's got these little grooves on here. And let me just show you what this, this does. This is, the, this is kind of like the cheapest strap lock you can get. You can get these on eBay for like, I think it's like five or six bucks uh, from China. What it essentially does is you've got your strap here and on the end of it, you know, you've got a little little divot in there um, and then on this this strap lock if I were to if I pull this lever you can see that this little metal piece in there pulls out okay so if you just try to put it on without pulling this it's not going to go on but as soon as you pull it it locks into place because this metal piece in there that that's coming in and out goes inside that piece there so when it's on there there's no way that that's going to come out. It's just, it's just not, no problem at all. Now this, this one here is going to be basically the same exact thing. This is just a little bit higher quality. Um, this one I got from my, uh, on my Fender Jazz Bass that actually came with this. Um, this button isn't the one that fits it, but it kind of works. Gives you the idea. It's the same exact mechanism. This is just a cheap version and expensive version. These are basically the same exact thing, just better quality. This one is much, much better quality than this one, and I'll get into that in just a minute. This last one is, is kind of a different type of strap lock than the other two, and what it does is, I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a bunch of little, when I pull this out, there's a bunch of little kind of like bearings in there. There's five bearings in there that pull out that will allow it to grab onto the guitar. This is the guitar that this, this belongs to. And uh, when it goes on there, it pulls and, and it's the same principle, but instead of it going on the end, it's wrapping around and grabbing onto that little, uh, that little, little ring in there. So when you push it on, it's on there really good. It's not gonna come off, guaranteed. So now let's talk about installing it onto our, our guitar strap. Now, a guitar strap, it's got the hole, and basically I'm gonna unscrew this. All that this does is one side goes in here, underneath, and then the other side goes on top like that. And then this screws, this screws in like that, no big deal. A Couple things that I noticed is you really need to, to take some uh, a wrench or something and just really tighten this down on here. You, if it's finger tight, it's not gonna work. So you, you really just need to tighten that down really, really hard. That way that there's no way that this is gonna pop off of the strap. Depending on your strap, you may have kind of a really thick slot right there, you know? And so you don't want this to, to somehow pop out of the back like that either. So, you know, either get a new strap Either get a new strap or take some tape or something like that. This is a really cheap strap. Take some tape, do that, or some thread and sew that up so that this hole is just a hole. You can even take a, a drill and drill a new hole if you wanted to. Um, but that's that's something to watch out for. 
The other thing is, like on this strap for instance, it's a very thick strap. It's made out of leather and so when I installed this one on, on, on this, when I installed this one on it, this is a cheap one from eBay. It actually didn't have enough threading on the actual strap lock. It didn't have enough threading in order for it to to grab on and be used. So basically this one did not work for this strap at all. You would need like kind of a thinner strap in order to use these. So if you're buying one from eBay, that's just something to watch out for. Um, now on this one over here, this is a great strap lock. Um, and the way this one works is you just kind of unscrew this end here and this whole thing goes on your strap. This goes on top and then this screws into it like that. This, in my opinion, kind of sandwiches better. But one thing that I notice on this one, I have to crank this down really, really, really tight. And uh, it would probably be very useful for you to grab some pliers and just crank it down really hard in order to get it to, uh, to be on there. But once you do, it, you know, it should stay. But if you just use it, make it hand tight, I always seem to, it seems like every time I, I get it, I need to tighten it unless uh, I take some pliers and really, really tighten it up. So that's how this one works. I think this one's probably, um, probably the best. But another thing is this is a pretty, pretty big chunk, you know, even comparing these two, you know, this is a, a big piece of metal, you know, compared to, compared to this. So, uh, this one, this is the one that came with my fender base. This is totally fine. I mean, this one's fine too if you can get it to work. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit uh, trying to determine which strap lock you, you might want to get. These cheap ones on eBay, they're not bad. Uh, for five or six, seven bucks, it might have been. Uh, it's not too bad, but you might want to upgrade to, you know, one of the more expensive ones, uh, something uh, from from a better manufacturer that, that, you know, it might be 15 to $20 for the strap lock, but it, it, it's worth it to do that. This one I believe was uh, about fifteen or twenty dollars, also, and uh, but you know it's a very very small price to pay, especially if you have an expensive guitar. Another thing to mention that a lot of times the strap locks, when you buy them, they should come with their own screw, and uh, which is great. But one thing that you want to do is you want to try, if at all possible, to use the screw that your guitar already has in it. Um, and the reason is, is because if it's at all different thread, it's going to just kind of break away the wood and eventually that screw is going to loosen up and it's going to pull out of your guitar. Um, that's kind of what happened to the one that I, I have here. Um, but when I was replacing it, I used the same screw, but I tightened a little bit too much and uh, this became a really loose, um, a really loose strap button. <clears throat> Another thing that happens is the, the screw that, that come, was in your guitar might be too big for the hole on your strap lock. And so you'll be forced to use the new screw in it and uh, you just need to be really careful that it's a snug, good fit. As a matter of fact, it might not be a bad idea to go in and, and do a repair job on the, the hole and re-drill out the, the screw. And I've got a video, uh, I'll post a link for it on how to do that. But hopefully this is helpful to you, give you a little bit better idea on uh, strap locks. There's other kinds out there. I don't have them. Those are the only three that I have. If you like this video, please hit the like button on YouTube. Also, feel free to comment and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of reviews of different guitar effects, uh, processors and pedals and equipment, as well as uh, guitar lessons and, uh, and little tips like this on how to maintain your guitar. So hopefully you like it. Thank you so much for watching.